Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up compressor for spoken word vocals for your voiceovers, your podcast, your YouTube videos. If you're speaking into a microphone, this is going to be a super easy way to get perfect vocal compression every single time. I'm going to show you how to set up three different compressors and you'll notice they're all pretty much the same. Then there's going to be a lot of extra controls we don't even have to mess with. If we were doing compression for music, it would be a very different story, but we're doing spoken word compression, which is super simple, and this is how you make it super easy. First, we're gonna start off with the compressor on OBS Studio or Streamlabs, which is just a very basic compressor, and it's not that great. Then we're gonna go over to one of the best free compressors you get from Reaper, and then we're gonna check out the Paid Fab Filter Pro CQ, which is a excellent top-notch compressor, and you'll notice there's not much of a difference on the settings between the three compressors. So let's open up the first compressor and get started. The first thing we wanna do is adjust our ratio. We're gonna set that to three to one. Threshold, leave that alone for right now. Attack, we're gonna set the attack to about three milliseconds. That's always a very good place for spoken word vocals. Release, somewhere between 60 and 100. Usually I just put it on 100 to keep it simple. Now we need to adjust our threshold. See the little mic aux bar down here that's moving around? That's an indicator of how loud our volume is. So we're gonna turn down the threshold until we notice it's gonna start changing us. Hey, 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 hey. So if you notice when I start uh, saying hey, it gets quieter as I adjust the threshold. Now, unfortunately, this compressor does not come with an indicator of how many decibels of gain reduction we're getting. So this compressor kind of stinks. You just kind of have to take a guesstimate of it. So in doing spoken word vocals, we really only need to adjust a few settings, the release, the attack, the ratio, and the threshold, and all the other settings on most compressors, we're just gonna leave alone and we're not even gonna need to mess with them. But for spoken word, this makes it super simple, super easy, and it's gonna work great every single time. Let me go ahead and switch to a better compressor so you can see how to set the settings on a much nicer compressor. Okay, so next we have the Reaper compressor, which is one of my favorites, and it's free. I'll show you where to get this in just a minute, and this is a really nice compressor. So again, a lot of people get this one and they see all these dials and switches and whatever the heck they are, all these sliders, and they're like, holy crap, this is so complicated. But it's actually super easy because we don't even have to adjust most of those, only the couple that I'm showing you in this video. All right, so this is how we adjust the settings on the Reaper compressor. Put your attack to 3.0, release 100 milliseconds, ratio three to one, and then there's this, this slider right here for the threshold. Bring that down until you see this little, see this red bar right here? You're gonna get about two to three decibels of compression in your normal speaking voice, and then bam. So you just bring the slider down until you're getting the two to three decibels of compression in your speaking voice, bop, 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 bop. See that, about two there? Now when we get loud, hey! It compresses more, but for your general speaking voice, you just wanna see that little red bar right there on the Reaper coming down just a little bit. If so you would like to check out the Reaper software, Reaper is a very reputable company. They make audio editing software and they do offer a package of free plugins that you can use in their software or outside of their software. And hey, I'll put a link down there in the video's descriptions of where you can go download that. So let's go check out the third compressor, which is the FabFilter Pro C2, which is my favorite compressor. I absolutely love this one. There's all kinds of settings and stuff all over it, but we're still only gonna adjust a couple. Okay, so we are gonna set the ratio to three to one. We're gonna go ahead and put the attack on 3.0, and we're gonna do the release on 100 milliseconds, just like normal. And then now we gotta adjust the threshold. So we're just gonna move the threshold until it starts compressing. And you're gonna see this little red bar over here, right? This is the indicator on this one as of how much compression we're getting. So if I wanna put this all the way up, we can see exactly all the compression we're getting. I mean, up here is the bar. So we're looking for two to three decibels of compression on our normal speaking voices, which is about what we're getting right now. So that's a very good place to put it. So. This is really just compression made simple, guys. Now, you do have a knee setting, so a knee can make it sound a little bit softer or a little bit harder. Generally, for spoken words, you're not really gonna hear much of a difference on the knee, but some people do adjust the knee a little bit, but I wouldn't even really worry about it, to tell you the truth. If you're doing music vocals, 
you're going to play with the knee, all right? On spoken word, you, you can use the knee if you want to. So watch this little line here. You see that little curved line where my mouse is? As I adjust the knee, that's a hard knee, and that's a soft knee. So when you, when you run the knee, it kind of eases the compression into it. So when that compression hits, it's just not actually like, bam, right away. It kind of softens it into the compression, if that makes any sense. So bottom line, this is compression made easy for spoken word vocals. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Most of these other compressors that have all these controls and dials and knobs, you don't even need to mess with them. I mean, if we were doing music, it would be a very different thing, but for just speaking into a microphone, all we're doing is shooting for a little teeny bit of compression just to tame down the peaks. That way when we get loud, it turns us down. And if we start yelling or getting loud, it's not gonna blow out your listener's ears. It's gonna make the quieter and the louder sounds closer to the same volume. So there you go, and really not that much to it. A lot of people make this way more complicated and crazy than it needs to be. Again, if you're doing music, it's a very different story, but for a simple spoken word compression, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that little bell, set the notifications all. That way, if I'm uploading more videos, you don't miss any good tutorials or gear reviews or whatever. All right, thank you so much. Check out the video's descriptions. There's some uh, ways to help support the channel down there in the descriptions. And yeah, have an amazing day. Lightning out. Thank you for watching. See you later.